Today's video is about a very common yet very important condition in newborns, high bilirubin levels, also known as neonatal jaundice or NNJ. Many parents panic when they see their baby turning yellow. So today I will explain why this happens when it becomes dangerous, how doctors diagnose it, and how we treat it safely in the NICU. Bilirubin is a yellow pigment in our body. It forms when old red blood cells break down. Normally, the liver processes this bilirubin and removes it. But in newborn babies, the liver is still immature, so it cannot handle too much bilirubin immediately after birth. Almost 60 to 80% of newborns develop some level of jaundice in the first few days of life. This is called physiological jaundice and is usually harmless. Reasons include heavy check mark immature liver, heavy check mark increased breakdown of fetal red blood cells, heavy check mark limited feeding in first 24 hours, heavy check mark slow stool passage, causing slower bilirubin removal. Most of the time, this jaundice improves on its own. But in some babies, bilirubin levels rise too high, and then it becomes a medical emergency. There are two basic categories of NNJ. One, unconjugated, indirect, hyperbilirubinemia. This is the most common type. Causes include physiological jaundice, breastfeeding jaundice, breast milk jaundice, prematurity, blood group incompatibility, ABO, RH, G6PD deficiency, sepsis, cephalohematoma slash bruising. Two, conjugated, direct, hyperbilirubinemia. This is less common but more serious. Causes include liver or bile duct problems. In today's video, we focus mainly on unconjugated high bilirubin because this is the type that rises quickly and increases risk of brain damage. High bilirubin becomes dangerous when levels cross the safe limit for the baby's age and weight. The highest risk is for warning preterm babies, warning low birth weight babies, warning babies with hemolysis, warning babies who are dehydrated, warning babies not feeding well. If bilirubin rises too high, it can cross into the brain tissues and cause cornicterus. This is why early diagnosis and treatment are extremely important. Most parents observe these symptoms. Heavy check mark yellowish skin. Heavy check mark yellow eyes. Scara. Heavy check mark baby looks sleepy or not feeding well. Heavy check mark lethargy. Heavy check mark high pitched cry. Heavy check mark arching of back. Danger sign. If you see these signs, bring the baby to the hospital immediately. Do not wait for home remedies. In the hospital or NICU, we check. One. TSB total serum bilirubin. This blood test tells us the exact level of bilirubin. Two, direct plus indirect bilirubin to differentiate the type of jaundice. Three, blood group of mother and baby to check for ABO or RH incompatibility. Four, CBC helps detect anemia or infection. Five, G6PD screening if hemolysis is suspected. We also assess the baby's age in hours because treatment guidelines depend on hours of life, not just days. Show chart idea, bilirubin nomogram. We use specific charts and guidelines to see whether the baby needs treatment. Treatment depends on heavy check mark babies, gestational age, heavy check mark weight, heavy check mark bilirubin level, heavy check mark rate of increase, heavy check mark underlying causes. Heavy check mark risk factors like GA less than 35 weeks, sepsis, hemolysis. If bilirubin is mild, only monitoring plus feeding support is needed. If levels are moderate, phototherapy is required. If levels are dangerously high, exchange transfusion may be necessary. Now show NICU scene of a baby under blue lights. Phototherapy is the most effective and safest treatment for high bilirubin. These blue lights convert bilirubin into a form that can be removed through urine and stool. Baby is kept under phototherapy with heavy check mark eye protection, heavy check mark frequent feeding, heavy check mark temperature monitoring, heavy check mark hydration, heavy check mark regular bilirubin testing. Phototherapy starts working within hours. Doctor speaks calmly. It is safe, painless, and very effective. Parents should not be scared when they see their baby under blue lights. 
This treatment prevents brain damage. Exchange transfusion. In very severe cases, when bilirubin levels are extremely high or rising rapidly despite phototherapy. Neonatal jaundice is common, but sometimes dangerous. The important thing is timely treatment. If your baby's skin or eyes look yellow, consult a doctor immediately. High bilirubin can be treated very effectively when diagnosed early. Thank you for watching.